put the munchkins to sleep, but be careful, they're noisy. Great! What multiplication problem is the same as 5 plus 5? Well, first of all, what does 5 plus 5 equal? We know that if we add 5 and 5 together, we'll get 10. So what times 5 equals 10? A good way to look at this problem is to think about the addition problem. How many 5s do we have? Well, we have two fives. That means that we should have two times five because that equals 10.
What is 200 plus 500? Well, first of all, we want you to see that 200 has zero ones, zero tens, and two a hundreds. We could say the same for 500, where we have zero ones, zero tens, and five hundreds. Now we just want to use vertical addition to help us add these numbers together. And remember with vertical addition you want to make sure that your places are all lined up. So we're going to start by writing down the ones place. Here's the zero of 200 and the zero of 500. Now we move to the tens where here's the zero of 200 and the zero of 500. Finally, we get to the hundreds where we have two of 200 and the five of 500. Now all we have to do is add our places together where we'll start with the ones place. Zero plus zero is zero. We move to the tens place where zero plus zero is zero. And finally we're at the hundreds place where two plus five equals seven. That means that 200 plus 500 equals 700. Nice!